Quick Thought Quick Thought was proposed in 1960 by C. A. R. Hoare. Unlike the previously studied methods, which are based on iterative procedures, Quick Thought uses recursive algorithm. Broadly, a data set is partitioned into smaller subsets which are recursively processed. Thus, quick thought belongs to the category of divide and conquer procedures. Quick thought is among the fastest sorting methods and extensively used in a variety of situations. Because of its common use, several programming languages, notably C, C++ and Java, provide support for quick sort in standard libraries. The quick sort method works in two phases. First, the array is partitioned into two sub-arrays using one of the array elements as pivot such that all elements to the left sub-array are smaller than pivot and all elements in the right sub-array are larger than the pivot. In the next step, the partitioning procedure is applied recursively to the left and right sub-arrays. In practice, several schemes exist to choose a pivot and partitioning of array into two sub-arrays. Later on, we shall see that the performance of quick sort is influenced to some degree by choice of pivot. Detail of procedure for performing this method is given in reference notes. Let us consider, for example, the array consisting of 10 elements. To apply quick sort, we follow the following steps. We select the leftmost element 60 as the pivot. The left and right pointers are set to point to the elements 60, 20, respectively. The array is scanned from right to left, beginning with element 20, skipping all elements that are greater than the pivot 60. Since 20 is smaller than pivot, we stop at the element 20. The element 20 is copied into the element pointed to by the left pointer, that is element 60. Next, the array is scanned from left to right, beginning with element 26, skipping all elements that are smaller than the pivot 60. The element 85 being larger than 60, we stop at element 85. The element 85 is copied to the element pointed to by the right pointer, that is element 20. The array is next scanned from right to left beginning with element 85 and skipping all elements that are larger than pivot 60. Thus, we stop at the element 13. The element 13 is copied into the element pointed to by the left pointer. Next, the array is scanned beginning with element 31 and skipping elements that are smaller than the pivot and stopping when left and right pointers cross over. Now, both the pointers point at element 13 between the element 4, 87 as shown. We now replace the element 13 with pivot 60 and obtain Observe that the element 20, 26, 13, 31 and the left of pivot 60 are smaller than the pivot and the elements 87, 76, 73, 85 to the right of the pivot are larger than the pivot. We can apply the same procedure to the left and right partition until the array is sorted. Please click the button to watch quick sort visualization. Implementation of quick sort. The implementation of quick sort method consists of two parts, partitioning of array and recursive calls. For the partitioning, 
we shall follow the algorithm discussed previously. The implementation of recursive calls is simple and straightforward. Figure lists the complete code. It consists of two methods named QuickS and QSort. The function QuickS simply passes the upper and lower bounds of the array X to be sorted. The QSort is the main operative method for the quick sorting. It includes integer variables LB, RB and PA to hold the current values of lower and upper bounds and the index of the pivot. The variable pivot is assigned the leftmost element in the subarray. Code includes three while loops. The outermost loop tracks the left and right pointer and terminates when the pointer LL and RR cross over. The second inner loop scans the array from right to left. It decrements the pointer RR until an element lower than the pivot is encountered. The third while loop scans the array from left to right, incrementing the pointer LL until an element greater than the pivot is found. On termination of inner loops, the corresponding elements are swapped. When the outermost loop terminates, the value held by pivot is assigned to XLL. The last part of the code contains two recursive calls to process the left and right subarrays. Please click button to run interactive program for shell sort. Selection of quick sort pivot. Various studies show that choice of pivot has a significant impact on the performance of quick sort algorithm. As already discussed, the simplest choice can be either the first or the last element in the array. This is, however, not the best choice in all circumstances. For example, if the array is already sorted or partially sorted, the selection of the first element as pivot would greatly degrade the performance. To avoid such risks, several alternative methods have been proposed. Two common approaches are called random selection and median of three selection. In random select, an element of the array is randomly picked and assigned to the pivot. Experience shows that this is the safest choice. However, in actual implementation, we need a random number generator to produce numbers between the upper and lower bound of an array or subarray. This is an additional overhead and increases the running time. Another method known as median of 3 selects the middle element as the pivot. For example, if LL and RR are lower and upper bounds of array X, the index of a middle element should be MM is equal to LL plus RR by 2. Thus, X of MM is chosen as the pivot. Most popular implementations of quick sort method follow this approach. Empirical studies show that the median of 3 choice not only avoids the risk of degradation, it actually increases the performance by 5 to 10 percent. Analysis of quick sort As we have seen in the implementation of quick sort, the significant operations are partitioning of array into smaller arrays, comparisons of elements with pivot, and swapping of element during scanning of the array. In order to determine the running time, we investigate the total amount of these operations. Let us first consider the number of partitions. We have seen that at recursive call, the array is split into two subarrays of nearly equal size. Thus, if we have an array of seven elements, it will be split into three sub-arrays of sizes 1, 2, 
4 because 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. Generally, thus, we can say that an array of size n can be split into at most log n plus 1 partitions. After partitioning of array, we perform n comparisons and n exchanges in worst case. Thus, the total number of major operations involved in quick sort are 2n log n plus 1. We therefore conclude that the running time of quick sort is O 2n log n plus 1 or ignoring constants O n log n. The logarithmic function n log n grows much slower compared to the quadratic function n square. Thus, quick sort is far too efficient compared to the quadratic sort methods named bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort and shell sort. However, as noted before, the performance of quick sort is also influenced by the existing order of input data. The worst case occurs when the array is already sorted. In this case, if the leftmost element is selected as to pivot, the array will split into two arrays of sizes 1 and n minus 1. Thus, altogether, 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 comparisons and exchanges would be performed. As a result, the running time would be O n into n minus 1 by 2 or O n square. Thus, the quick sort would perform as poorly as any quadratic sort algorithm. Another major drawback of quick sort is that it is massively recursive. Recursion is generally performed by using computer's special memory known as heap. For problems involving a large number of recursions, enough memory may not be available on a particular machine. Further, some of the programming languages do not support recursion. Despite these drawbacks, quick sort is by far for the fastest general purpose algorithm.